Long Island has always been known as a hotbed for comedy. I mean, it's put out some of the greatest comics in the world. Jerry Seinfeld, Rosie O'Donnell, Eddie Murphy, Ray Romano, Kevin James. During the 90s, the comedy out in Long Island really took a plunge and the great comics weren't coming out here anymore. Our goal is to bring the funny back to Long Island seven days a week. And this is the crazy team that's gonna help us do it. I'm saying cock. Yeah, but you're not getting as big laughs as you used to. You, that you gotta get that in between. Cock. So, but cock. Welcome everybody to Governor's Club. Oh. I'm Mark London. I'm uh, the owner of Governor's Comedy Club in Long Island. I run the club with my wife, Ginny. You got this whole table. I love having Ginny here. I need her here. She's my rock. He fucks everything up. <laughs> I'm the GM of a baseball team. They just happen to be comics. There's somebody very important in this show tonight, and I need you guys on your A game. Oh, How sorry. important? <laughs> what is this fucking, let's make a I'm deal? Asking. I'm not telling you. All right. I would have a brief homosexual encounter for a Cinnabon. That's it, I kissed it, now give it to me. <laughs> this isn't just a club, this is a gym for these guys. This is the place for these guys to build their entertainment muscle. I'm supposed to be doing my best five minutes, but I'm gonna do the five minutes that I wanna do of new shit that could probably go very wrong. Race is a hot topic right now, right? <laughs> Dennis is probably our fastest rising star. Any white people here tonight? I am a stand-up comedian who daylights as a deli worker. Because uh, some people perceive me to be some hot rising up and comer, uh, they do try to shit on me a little bit. It's not you, it's your amazing lack of talent. Joe Starr has a giant ego. Is there any specific joke that you think you could maybe fix for me? Only, only the first one to the last one, first and what's one. in between? That's your only weak spot. But getting to the mic. Before you go on, you're great. Joe Starr was the guy on Long Island. But he had nobody standing behind him to help him. In 1994, I got booked upstate somewhere. I get up there Thursday, the club burned down on Tuesday, nobody called Nobody called you. <laughs> so I get there, and I'm looking for the address, and it's building, 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 charge. <laughs> building, 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 building. I go, no. You're so shit-faced, you're like, all right, I'm peeing, he's peeing, my pee's probably hitting his ankle, his pee's hitting my ankle. Rokes, the guy's got a head like a cookie jar. It's big and empty. Well, I was a police officer, but that didn't go too well. I'm ordering two number twos, and she looks at the back seat, and the guy's like, yeah, I got sweet and sour sauce with that. <laughs> Chris Monty's the Sinatra of Long Island. I've known him since I was three years old. I came from those parents of, no show business, that's for bums. I was on a diet for two weeks. You know what I lost? Yeah, 14 days. <laughs> a little heavy on the profile. He could pick his nose with a fucking chew horn. I actually have seen sharks in the water before, which is why when I go surfing now, I carry a knife. Lloyd Palmateri is the little sister. So if I ever see one again, I can stab the surfer next to me. She's very quiet, she's very cute, but man, she's got some dark, dark skeletons in that closet. How many girls have you taken home after shows? Many. Mick likes to talk about Mick. That gets a little tiresome. My wife gets so pissed when I bring him home. She's like, not again. I'm like, oh. Very arrogant and full of himself sometimes. How can you do it to yourself? With the same shit every single night. Hey, same joke. To me, it was like vagina or donut. I took the whole less travels. Anthony, I take him under my wing. Just bad attitude. Talk to her. Let's go ahead. You enjoy the show? Fucking pointless. If you're going to come into this crew, Somebody needs to get beat up, and it's gonna be him. Who are you chasing now? I don't chase them down. Yes, you do. Talk to them. Yeah, you cry. Chase them, we just propose Yeah. House is our security here, but he really does want to be a stand-up comic. Erotic poetry is one of my specialties. Oh, I'm hilarious too. These are the people I want to go to war with. Ow, ow. So I'm gonna invest in these guys, and we'll do this together. The comics out here are like a band of brothers. It's a locker room with a bunch of guys with towels on breaking each other's balls. You're around comedy, you are not in comedy. You know what I am? You're around it. The future of comedy. <laughs> we're a family out here, and we're all determined to stay together and make it together. They say it's really important for you to like who you work with, like that's 90% of the job. We have everything on the line out here. There's no plan B. We have to make this work. We have a long way to go, but we're gonna get there. We are. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs>